Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share some luxury items that I never wear. So if you're interested in the three bags, three SLGs, two pairs of shoes and two items of jewelry that I never wear, then keep on watching. Hi guys, so I just wanted to hop in on here and tell you guys that over 90% of you guys watching my videos aren't subscribed and it would mean the world to me if you guys can just hit that little button down below. It's free and you will always stay updated with my videos. And let's continue. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Freya and I love to do fashion and luxury content. So if that's your cup of tea then consider subscribing down below. It's free and it really helps me out. And today's topic is a little bit different. So I actually have a filming schedule and this video was really not intended but I actually saw Isabel Style doing this video so shout out to her video. I haven't watched it because I, I don't want to be copying any other YouTubers video so I will be watching hers after I film this but I thought it would be a great idea. So I thought I would share with you the items that I never wear and also give you the reasons for them so maybe you can avoid some bad purchases yourself. So yeah, let's begin and I would say let's start off with some shoes. All right, the first pair of shoes that I have are the Chloe Lauren sneakers. So that's how they look. They're in a lace, in a white lace, and they have the Chloe right here. And then also if you watch really carefully, you can see the Chloe embroidered in the shoe as well. And I purchased them in the beginning of this year and I was really happy because I love the Chloe Woody sandals. I love the Chloe tote. I'm a really Chloe girl, although I have another item from Chloe in this video as well. And I purchased these, I think they retail for around 395 euros and I didn't pay that much. I think I paid 320 euros or something because I got them on the Fashionette sale and I was really happy with them and then obviously I decided to wear them a whole day in Paris which was horror like I couldn't walk like after half of the day obviously we did a lot of walking in Paris uh, I think we did 20 kilometers that day and I wore them and I didn't break them and these were the first time I wore these shoes and they hurt my feet so so badly and yeah, then I thought, okay, that was stupid of me. I should have broken them in. So I thought I would wear them another time when we went out in the summertime to like a beer festival or something. So, and we only were there for a couple of hours. So I thought that should be fine. And my feet just hurt so badly. I don't know what it is. Like something in the back here is just so so uncomfortable like but only on the right shoe like there is something wrong with this so i really need to figure out how to wear them because i think they they're gorgeous like i love the look of them so 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 much but they're so 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 uncomfortable only the one shoe though so i don't know if it's like my one feet be a uh, foot being bigger or i don't know what is the reason but they're really uncomfortable so yeah this is the problem with this pair of shoes and I don't know what to do about them. I'm not going to sell them because obviously for shoes you don't get anything. And then second of all, I just love the look too much. So I'm going to make them work somehow. I just probably need like an insole for the back here or something or put plasters on my feet before wearing them or something like this. But I'm really, really sad about that. Next pairs of shoes. <sighs> which are really dusty because I've only wore them like from the top you can't see that they are basically never worn. I've only worn them once to a wedding and these are just some Prada heels. I bought them in an outlet. They're just classic heels. I think they're seven and a half centimeters and yeah they're just really classic pair of basic heels and I thought this would come in really handy. I think I picked them up for like 300 euros which I thought was a really good price for like classic heels like that and I've only worn them to a wedding because they're also they're not like terrifically uncomfortable. I just hate wearing heels so I only wear heels if I must and like for example on my wedding or other occasions I will wear heels or other people's weddings 
but um, I never wear heels like going to the city going for dinner going to the club I never wear heels because I will regret it for the rest of the night so these are I guess good to have but then again I never really wear black dresses or anything so if I have some dressy wind I usually go for nude shoes or like I have like a pair of clear uh, heels with like embroidery on there so I wear those and never usually wear black but then again I feel like these will be for probably for the rest of my life or like for as long as I can walk on heels physically a good staple to have although they don't really come in use but yeah I, I think I didn't pay too much for them so it's fine and I yeah I, I guess I'm just holding on to them for the sake of it okay let's move to SLGs I think so I have three SLGs the first one is this Mio Mio card holder and I just am not a card holder kind of girl I don't like them like I don't get them I much rather use a regular wallet and that works perfectly for me so that's the tea on that if you want to buy this this is on my vintage yeah i'm selling this one and then this is my key pouch from louis vuitton never wear it i don't know why i've had this before for like six years and i've worn this religiously and then i lost my other one and i repurchased this one and this one i just never use so i don't know what's wrong with this i probably will fall back in love with this one but right now i don't use it and the last one which may be shocking to a lot of people but <laughs> my mini pushad i don't like this like i don't like i like it but i don't like to use this because this went up so so much in price so i want to keep it like really pristine i actually like if you guys can see i've used this only a couple of times i have some stuff in there like when i used it i used it as like a shawl with like um, miscellaneous stuff in there but I am just too scared. Like I want to have this forever and I don't want it to break. So I, I'm just really careful with it. And therefore I never use it because I'm scared that I won't be careful enough and that it will break somehow and then I can't use it again or that I will lose it or something like that. So I just don't wear it because it's too precious. Like I bought this for 245 euros and now it's like 555 euros in a, t like in a time frame of two years. Like what so i would never repurchase for 555 euros guys it's not worth it like buy something else for 555 euros it's definitely not a must-have item for me so i'm guessing it's like really a thing of like preference i think if i had like multiple ones i maybe would use them more but since I only have that one, I and I know I will never repurchase any of them for the price because they're also it's insanely high on the retail market. Um, yeah, I, I just don't use it. I'm thinking we're doing jewelry next. Um, so this one really pains me. Uh, quick backstory. So you guys know I'm married and we married in 2021 because we couldn't do so in 2020. In 2020 and um, yeah after we got married we only had like a really small ceremony we didn't have a big wedding whatsoever we want to do that eventually but yeah we didn't get around doing it and so after our uh, wedding our civil wedding uh, my parents treated us to go to Dubai for our honeymoon because actually like you couldn't go anywhere and like Dubai was the most fancy destination we could go to so my parents treated us and we like they treated us to the flight into the hotel and we just had to take some money for like shopping and um, food and that's it so we had yeah some money uh, as presents and things like that so I decided to buy something that would remind me of our honeymoon so I bought these earrings they are from Dior. They just say Je Dior. And this is actually my second um, purchase from Dior and the first purchase I purchased myself in store. And I went into the store and I had my bride little bracelet on and the woman in there was so so nice like she gave me the cutest things like um, little sample stuff and things like that and it was just the best experience. And I love these earrings but I'm scared to use them because I'm scared I'm gonna break them somehow. I don't know why because they seem like really sturdy. They also don't really have rhinestones or anything that could fall off. But since it's so sentimental to me, 
and I don't really have experience with um, Dior jewelry. Like for example, my Cartier rings, I just wear everywhere because I know they're so sturdy, but I don't have any experience with Dior jewelry. So I'm really scared I'm, uh, uh, that I will break them. So I never wear them, even though I think they're gorgeous. So I really must do an effort to wear them more because I really like the look of them and I think they're gorgeous and they remind me of our honeymoon, which was a really happy time. So I love them really much. I just need to wear them a little more. Another thing that I have is in this box, this is a Longines little watch. And this is the most expensive thing that I've bought in my life. <laughs> And this was quite expensive. This is a full golden watch and this is a rose gold watch from Longines and it looks like this. I don't know how it's called. I did a, I think I did a haul. I'm trying to link that one where I showed you this because I bought this one in Metzingen. So this is full 18 karat gold, not gold plated. This is full gold and it's beautiful. It has little diamantes around the face and it has a white, white face. And I really love also the size of it. I will model it for you. I usually wear it on the left, but I'm having on my Apple watch, which actually is a problem. Like, and since I'm wearing my Apple watch daily, I don't wear this one, even though it's gorgeous. Like you can, guys can see also with my Hermes little um, bangle, it just looks so good. I think this is so, so pretty, but since it was so expensive, I'm scared to use it. And I never do, I, I save this for like special occasions. For example, if it's my birthday or Christmas or New Year's, I will wear it because then I think like it's special enough to be wearing it. But on other occasions, I don't really wear it. So yeah, this is my Longines watch. I'm glad I've purchased this one because I know it was a really good deal. Like I got it for a great deal. Obviously it was expensive because it's a full gold watch, but it was a great price for what it was. And look at the packaging guys. Isn't this like on par with like a Rolex? And I think the prices are, well, okay, Rolex really climbed up, but um, I think the quality and things like that is pretty much the same. It's also a Swiss manufacturer, if you didn't know. I don't know if it belongs to any other brand, but I know that it's a really good brand. So um, yeah, I have that one. And then move on to the last category, which is bags, which you are probably all interested in. So let's do the Chloe item that I talked about next. Oh, I have one more accessory, which I will show after this one. So this is my Chloe Annie bag. And I've used this a great, a great total of one time this year. I, I, I don't know what it is. I love the color. I love the style. I love how it looks on my body. It's just a little heavy. That's something that annoys me, but it fits so much. It's classy. It's not flashy. It's, it's, it's everything. It must be it, honestly, but I just don't wear it. So yeah, I can't tell you why. I think one reason why may be that I don't really like gray that much. Um, so I have this Moschino belt. And I actually wore these two together when I first got this bag. I wore these two together a lot. I know this is a lot, but since this one doesn't have any logo except for this little engraving, which you can't really read if you're far away, I wore like a really big statement belt. And this one, I still think it's kind of cool. Depending on how you style it, you probably think, like most of you probably think it's hideous, but I feel like if you style it correctly, it can look really cool. I don't like gray that much. And I feel like gray fits so much better with silver, but I prefer gold. So that's kind of my issue with this. This one I actually purchased in Poininger Outlet. If you guys are from Germany, you will know Poininger, which is like a compartment store like Saks. And they have an outlet in Stuttgart where I live and they sometimes have the greatest deal. So I got this one for, I think, uh, like under 500 euros. And this usually retails for 1,500. This also has a shoulder strap like this 
so you can wear it but i like to wear it on the handles because i think it's cute this one i actually also bought from pointing outlet not on the same trip but um yeah i bought them together and i don't really wear them maybe i'll fall back in love with them maybe i'm grown out of them i'm not sure i'm always like really i never want to get rid of anything i'm really bad with these things but yeah i never really sell any of my stuff so the last category which is also i don't know if there's a, is a pattern but it's my speedy 30 this was my first designer handbag and it's my alma TV. and these are my only damir abin pieces so i'm i don't know if i'm not liking damir abin i have worn this i haven't worn it the whole year and now i've worn this twice last week because i'm trying to make an effort and it is actually really cute i just don't like the shoulder strap and i know you guys told me to get a new shoulder strap I need to do this after the video because I always forget and then I want to wear this and then I'm annoyed at the shoulder strap and then I just pick my Nano Speedy because it's super easy and this one you guys know my pain with this one it doesn't have a shoulder strap which I don't like um so I don't use this one and yeah I, I just have it in my closet and I will wait for this to spark joy in me again because I'm not not gonna sell this this is my first designer handbag this is the first bag that i purchased for myself with my own money and this started my whole obsession with designer handbags i'm not selling this one and this one i love and i want to use again i even got it hot stamped and louis vuitton really messed up can you see the j it says fj for freya johanna or freya jan so um yeah i love this but it's like i don't know I don't know why I don't use it that much. I think it's really cute. I have the shoulder strap in here. So maybe with the new shoulder strap, I should wear it more. I want like a, um, I want one that I can, that it can sit kind of like on my hip, um, like a shorter shoulder strap. I think that would be nice. Even like a guitar strap or something because it's really like ladylike and I'm dressing more sporty some of the time or most of the time, I don't know. So yeah, I don't know. But this was all of the items that I never use. Thank you, Isabel, for inspiring me with this content idea. I hope you enjoyed this. This was, was more, I, I hope this didn't come across too negative. Obviously, I'm really, I'm really grateful that I can afford things that I don't even wear. You know what I mean? But I, I'm still making an effort to make these things work for me. And some items I just am scared to use. Um, not that I don't want to use them. So I hope you guys understand that this didn't come across as like really spoiled and um yeah you guys know me i'm not like this so thank you so much for watching i hope you really liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what is your item that you never wear but you can't get rid of and i will see you guys for the next video thank you so much for watching bye